into this one, so he's a huge get for South Alabama. So the Jags control the tip, going with their normal starting lineup. Kyle Gonzalez, Alex, Alex, uh, Alex Anderson, I should say, Javon Franklin, Marshall Keering, and Charles Manning Jr., the first five off the bench for South Alabama. Franklin, the first to kiss it off the glass of the end. Javon Franklin with a nice move inside, going up strong, drawing some contact there, getting the first two points for South Alabama. Pruitt, Taylor, Wright, Wright, and Doss Jr., the typical starting lineup for SIUE. So just underway here in Mobile, Alabama. The Jags in white, the Cougars in black. Nice dribble drive and kick out to right inside. Shot clock down under 10 as Shamar Wright dishes it off. Outside shot, no good. Rebound control by South Alabama. Alex Anderson going out to J.J. Chandler, who had a great game against Tarleton. And South Alabama lucky to get that one back and then stolen away by Shamar Wright. Here comes SIUE. Yeah, already a good play from Javon Franklin underneath two quick rebounds already. Jags playing their attack man-to-man. -man. Very rarely see them play any zone defense. And they'll come out and try to double-team you up top. And there's Taylor, the aforementioned best player on this team. And, boy, he is going to be fun to watch tonight. Absolutely. Just a freshman, Pat, which is crazy to think about. But he's scored over 10 points in every single point, every single game this season. Got the miss last year with a torn ACL. I know SIUE very happy to have him back in the lineup. Anderson with the drive. And the Jags on top four, too. Yeah, great take there from Alex Anderson. Going up strong with the right hand. Just underway in the Mitchell Center. Six and six, SIUE. The Jags had an eight-game win streak snapped on the road last time out. And another missed shot by the Cougars. Chandler had it stripped away by Rayshon Taylor. Good hustle. Can't stay in bounds, though. And the ball will be controlled by the Jags. 23 on the shot clock. Yeah, good hustle there in the corner there from Rayshon Taylor. Trying to save the basketball, but... His foot steps on the line, and that's going to be out of bounds. Jaguars keep possession. Look at what Richie Riley has done. Head coach at Nichols. He was an assistant. Cliff Ellis, Coastal Carolina and Clemson. Also had a stint at UAB. And has done a heck of a job so far with this South Alabama team. There's Manning. He backs his opponent down, puts it off the glass, and the Jags on top 6-2. South Alabama firing on all cylinders to start the game. Three for four from the floor. That one knocked out of bounds, last touch by Manning. He was making the case that it was off to Oss Jr., but a good call as SIUE will control on the sideline. There you see head coach for SIUE, Brian Baroni, assistant coach at SIUE for two seasons before, get, before becoming the head coach. Also played at Texas A&M in Marquette. But his father, he's a big deal. Head coach at Creighton, Texas A&M, and the Memphis Grizzlies as well. Here's a steal by Chandler. And Jags have numbers. Chandler takes it himself. The circus shot. What an acrobatic take there from J.J. Chandler in a quick timeout. Actually, it looks like basketball just got away. But, yeah, great take there from J.J. Chandler going right to the rack. Well, he didn't make it easy on himself. No, not at all. He had to – he was kind of falling over as – acrobatic in the air and just laid it up. And yeah, the numbers certainly weren't with, were, were with South Alabama. He said, to heck with the numbers. I'm taking it myself. There's Wright. Outside to Lamar Wright. Hits his brother just inside the three-point line. No good. Rebound by Franklin. It's a cold shooting so far by SIUE. They're now one for four from the field. Gonsalves did not score against Tarleton last game. Turn around jumper, no good. And how about the hustle there by Alex Anderson? Couldn't control the basketball, but he and Dewan Pruitt were going at it underneath. Yeah, Alex Anderson almost able to make a play there, but Pat, you mentioned it. Kyle Gonsalves without a point last time out against Tarleton. Just the second time in his career with South Alabama. He's played 40 games career for South Alabama. 38 of those games he scored a three-pointer. Tarleton last time out, he did not score a three-pointer. So just underway here. First part of the first half, SIUE in black, Jags in white. SIUE just one for four from the field. Haven't attempted the three-point shot yet. Both of these teams known for their defense. There's Taylor, who has the only point so far for the Cougars. Nice penetration and gets the roll. Nice job yeah, by really, Rayshon Taylor. Really good move inside there by Rayshon Taylor, splitting two South Alabama defenders, creating separation. 
So the Cougars within four. Axe trying to pick up top. Manning sees the opening, takes it himself, no good. Rebound, Shamar Wright, and here comes SIUE. Taylor has four, and that one's rejected by Manning. He was trying to get six. Manning said, no, thank you. South Alabama pushing it up with pressure. Chandler back to Manning. Now Anderson along the baseline. Nice up and under. How about that sequence for South Alabama? Yeah, Alex Anderson was going to get that shot blocked if he doesn't double, cl double clutch that shot. So great move there from Anderson to get the two points. But all started with the defense on one side when Manning was able to swat it away. They say defense makes the good offense roll, and we saw it right there with South Alabama. Jags on top by six. There's Wright. Fade away over Franklin. Can't get the roll. Rebound Gonsalves. South Alabama doing a good job on the boards already. Out rebounding SIUE. Another nice take by Alex Anderson. Anderson's got six. He's a perfect three for three from the floor. South Alabama only missed three shots so far in the ball game. There's the first three point attempt, and it's good. As Ray Sean. Now has all seven of the SIU, uh, SIUE points. And it's a 12-7 ball game. Although Rayshon Taylor, not a very good three-point shooter, just a 26% three-point shooter as he knocks down one for one there here tonight. But I'll tell you what, I'll put the ball in his hands any day. Absolutely. Manning with a nice move. Goes to Anderson, who is perfect so far. He gets throwing it away. Not a good job there by Anderson. Now Taylor working on Gonsalves. Contact and it's a charge. You see freshman of the week three times already this season. We can see why. Charles Manning Jr. is South Alabama's leading scorer. He had the basketball there, but it's been Alex Anderson the score so far. Three for three from the field. He's got six. Anderson will get it. Down to the left baseline. Nice defense there by Doss Jr. Gets it back out to Manning. Shot clock under 10. Manning loses control, gets it to Anderson. To Gonsalves, shot clock down to three. Anderson's got to heave it, and he does way outside the arc, and it's an air ball, and that'll be a shot clock violation. And that's nice. actually going to go down as Alex Anderson's first three-point attempt all season long. He's not a three-point shooter. Had to chunk one up there at the at the end of the shot clock, and it'll go down as his first miss of the season. Well, we talked about that defense from SIUE coming in, and we saw it right there. Both of these teams priding themselves on what they do on that end of the floor. But... If you're Brian Baroni and you see a shot clock violation, you know your defense did a heck of a job. Now, was there a walk before the shot? Yes. Yeah, too many steps there underneath by Shamar Wright. He gets the travel. Good defense underneath by Kyle Gonsalves to stay sturdy, keep his hands up there the whole time. The Wright couldn't get it done as Alex Anderson now will take a seat. Like Deontay Smith checking in for South Alabama. First substitution we've seen tonight. And a clean game so far, just one foul, and it went on SIUE, the charge, just before the timeout. There's J.J. Chandler, nice take off the glass and in. And that's more points in the paint for South Alabama. 14 points in the game, all 14 coming in the paint. And that's not typical of South Alabama. They like to shoot the three. They like those outside shots. But they've seen something on tape so far that says, take it to the rack, and they've done it. Yeah, and it seems to be working so far. Doss, one on two. How about Javon Franklin, the one-armed rebound. Here comes South. Manning, under duress. He'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, your defense leads to offense. Javon Franklin with a big-time rebound, skying out the, out the sky to grab the board here. You see the replay. Javon Franklin skying up over everyone, one hand. Give me that. So the foul goes on Dewan Pruitt, his first, team second. And that'll send Manning to the free throw line. He's an 80% free throw shooter. First of two on the way. First time now, Desmond Polk coming into the lineup for SIUE. And Marshall Keering will check in for South Alabama. As another look at Manning, the senior guard out of Riverhead, New York. He's an LSU transfer. And has made an immediate impact coming into tonight. 17 points per game. And boy, the Jags missed him over Tarleton last game. Yeah, that was a tough game against Tarleton. South Alabama played that one down to the wire. They really needed Manning in that one. Tarleton coached by Billy Gillespie, former Texas Tech and Kentucky head coach. So he knows a thing or two about playing some good defensive basketball. And that was a good series between South Alabama and Tarleton where they split.
All right. We'll pull up for three. No good. Keering just into the ball game gets his first rebound. The Jags on top by eight. Check that. As another foul. That'll go on Doss. So there's a look at Richie Riley. In South Alabama's last game, we talked about that Tarleton game. J.J. Chandler, he's the guy that stepped up, career-high 23 points. And Anderson, who's had a heck of a ball game so far, 6 of 10 from the field. First of two on the way for Manning is good. Yeah, they both had great games. It still wasn't enough to outlast that Tarleton defense. They were just grinding out so many turnovers in that game. It was tough for South Alabama to come back. To Manning, two for three from the free throw line so far. Second of two is three for four. Now Alex Anderson will check back in. Manning will take a seat as the lead now in double digits, 17-7. Just north of 12 minutes, and now some token pressure in the backcourt for South Alabama. Just going to make it a little uncomfortable for Courtney Carter, who's fresh into the ball game. Yeah, SIUE still hasn't scored over the last two and a half minutes. They're looking to change that here. And Gonzalez hits the floor, no call. Nice pass inside, and DeWan Pruitt with the finish. Yeah, good pass there from Carter to find Pruitt with a big two-handed flush. It left Kyle, Kyle Gonzalez left his man open after trying to draw the charge. 17-9, your score is Chandler. We'll make it 19-9. What a take there from J.J. Chandler right to the rack. And now bodies the first half, Joe, on a 30-1 run. And how about this, Pat? They out-rebounded the Owls 55-33 in the ballgame. What a performance by SIUE to even their record at 6-6. Six and six. A Keering had it knocked loose. Good defense there by the Cougars. But Jags still control, shot clock, winding down under 10. Chandler with a step back, he's fouled. As Desmond Polk will pick up the personal foul, that'll be team number five. And that'll send J.J. Chandler to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Yeah, J.J. Chandler with a good move there. And Polk trying to close out, st took too many steps and wouldn't let J.J. Chandler land that shot. So J.J. Chandler going to the line for two shots. So Chandler comes in a 78% free throw shooter. As a team, the Jags shooting 68%. Richie Riley wants to see that number push higher. Definitely. Not, not comfortable with a 68. So Chandler, the transfer from Texas A&M. Lefty second is good. And South Alabama the first to hit 20 as Manning will come back in and give Chandler a seat. So Chandler will exit with seven points. Manning comes back in. He's got five. And Rayshon Taylor, who has seven of the nine for SIUE, right now taking a rest for the Cougars. Dewan Pruitt left all alone. You can't do that. He'll stroke it in. And Pruitt has four. Yeah, it's 20 to 11. Lack of defense there for South Alabama. Everyone sagged off. Pruitt took the wide open jumper. Uh, I think Pruitt said, hey, wait a second. How am I this wide open? I'll take it. Carter, that's a good take over Gonzalez. Can't get it to go, though. And the Jags in transition. Manning with the contact. Gets it to go, and he's got another one coming. Charles Manning Jr. takes the contact and the foul. He goes to the free throw line for the and one attempt. And South Alabama running away with this one. Five of their last five made buckets from the floor. So Lance Thomas will step in for Kyle Gonzalez as Manning, who is already three for four at the free throw line, get a chance to get one more. Jags doubling up the Cougars, 22 to 11. Almost at that midway point here in the first half. Free throw short and the rebound by Doss. So the Jags has a team four of seven from the free throw line. SIUE has yet to get there. That one picked off by Deontay Smith, two on three. Smith will get it out to Lance Thomas and the Jags will wisely reset. Good transition defense there by the Cougars. Yeah, and a smart play there from Deontay Smith to pat, take that ball out and not rush anything. Manning was shut down underneath. 
Thomas. Wow. Over Dewan Pruitt. Step and back Lance between Thomas. the legs. Wow, what a shot there from LT. An answer on the other end, not happening with the air ball. And now Manning on the break. Nice feed to Thomas. And back to back Lance. buckets for Thomas. Nice area down there in SIUE. Your hometown is where? Joliet, Illinois. Rudy have something to do with Joliet? He went. He was. Uh, <laughs> he was actually the strength and conditioning coach for my football team growing up. That? Were you born yet? No, I, not for the movie Rudy. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, there's some contact underneath, and a foul. We'll go on Lance Thomas, and that'll give SIUE their first trip to the free throw line. And Jonathan Curtis. He's only one for two for the free throw line this year. His first here tonight, no good off the back of the iron. Javon Franklin will check back in and give Curing a break. Curtis, 6'10", freshman from Mooresville, North Carolina, has 21 points so far this year. He averaged a double-double coming out of high school. Second of two was good. And the Jags lead cut to 14, 26-12, nine and a half to go. And now some full court pressure trying to trap in the backcourt for SIUE. And SIUE needs to do that to try and bring themselves back into this ball game. But they got to get back on defense too as Javon Franklin, that took too many steps. Yeah, Again, trying to do too much. Well, I think, I think that's a good defense there as SIUE did fall back in transition. And they had a double team underneath. And Javon Franklin thought he was going to be open, realized he wasn't, then tried to get it to Manning, but too late as a turnover. So we haven't seen a lot of turnovers today. Just five for SIUE, four for South Alabama. Now Wright, the fadeaway is good. Yeah, good move there from Wright, fading away on Lance Thomas. A little bit of contact there too, no call. Still gets a shot to fall. So Lamar Wright, his first two points of the ball game. He's averaging seven and a half a game. Manning, nice move. Yeah, only thing to do there, leave, leave it up with his right hand, threw it up there and still got it to fall. Nice move there from Manning. Manning's got nine. Jags on top by 14, 28-14. They've doubled up the Cougars. I thought there was a travel there, but they said no, the ball was knocked loose first. Three-pointer from the corner is good. Second made three-pointer in the ball game for SIUE, just their fourth attempt. They're trying to get back in this one. Desmond Polk, who only averages 2.6 a game, has already outshot his average with that three. Is the answer on the other end. Wow, not even close by Lance Thomas as he banks it off the backboard. And a chance to get it into single digits. Rayshon Taylor, they're going to get him for the carry. You don't see that very often. No, not at all, it, but it is the right call. I mean, he, he completely scooped that basketball with his hand. That's going to be a carry. But Rayshon Taylor did a good job getting the basketball back for SIUE before he turned the ball over. At it again. Uh, I don't know. It's close. I don't know. I don't know. Back to the action here. Jags on top by 11. Under eight to go. Again, a nice move by Chandler. He's got nine. Manning's got nine. And South Alabama just killing SIUE in the paint now. 24 points coming in the paint. Uh, Taylor, double teamed. Kyle Gonzalez, did he get another charge? No call on the contact. Outside the three. Dags on top by 10. Now they go inside where they've had a lot of success, and now Manning, the first guy to go in double digits, he's got 11. And what a pass from J.J. Chandler to throw it up over the top, finding Charles Manning, putting it in a place where only Manning could get it. Right to Courtney Carter, goes outside to Taylor. Taylor blanketed. How about the no-look pass to Courtney Carter? And it's a 10-point ball game once again. Yeah, you could tell this offense runs through Rayshon Taylor. Great find inside as he picks up an assist. But you talk about everything he does offensively, and boy, I'll tell you, his assist, you know, you, you, you always look at the scoring and how many points did he put up, and you get obsessed with double digits, and he's done this and that's done that. But I'll tell you, that last trip down the court really shows what he can do offensively. That's his 41st assist, a no look, and got them an easy bucket. Hey, he's definitely an all-around point guard. 
or he's really a shooting guard more for this team, but he, he can have the ball in his hand. He's just a dynamic guard for this team. Gonzalez called for the offensive foul on one end. He'll knock it out of bounds on the other end. So for Gonzalez, that's his first team second. Next one will be a shooting foul for the Jags when SIUE commits another infraction. 6.24 to go, first half. Carter, who just got the bucket, he's got two. Double team, gets it to right. And Taylor from outside the arc, too short off the front of the iron. And the Jags maintain that double digit lead. But a good pump fake from Rayshon Taylor to create some separation. Alex Anderson gets his man in the air. He's got eight. And the Jags on top now, 34-22. And how about this, South Alabama, 11 of their last 12 made shots from the floor. Outside the arc again, no good from Lamar Wright. He only has one three-pointer. I don't think that's a shot they typically want him to take. And now Chandler working on Wright. Nice step back move. Air ball bailed out by Manning. Yeah, Manning right place, right time. And getting the second chance points for South, South Alabama. So Manning's got 13. Chandler with nine, Anderson with eight. Manning with the basketball again, one on two to Javon Franklin. Can't get the layup to go. And now SIUE pushing the issue. Inside out basketball, three pointer is good. Yeah, good transition offense there from SIUE. Finding the open man in the corner, knocking down a big three. That's Desmond Polk again, three for three outside the three point line. It's an 11 point game. Javon Franklin working on the big man, whistle and a foul. And Franklin, who got hit in the head, will go to the free throw line as Jonathan Curtis will get that call. How about great job there by Taylor, drawing the double team and getting it out to Desmond Polk, who, boy, has stepped up tonight. Absolutely. Three for three from behind the arc. Hasn't missed a shot. Leading the way for SIUE with nine points. So Franklin at the free throw line, he's only a 65% free shooter. He's off the back of the iron, no good. So wholesale substitutions, four coming in for SIUE, one so far for South Alabama. And Javon Franklin will be substituted for if he makes this one. You ever wonder, though, when you see your substitute at the, at the scorer's table, you know what, I'm going to miss this. I want to play some more. There has definitely been some times in high school basketball where I have done that, Pat. Well, he missed it. <laughs> Can't say that was intentional, but... Devon Franklin will stay in the basketball game. As nice pass along the baseline, rejected by Franklin. But picked up by Doss to Carter outside the arc. Back to Doss. Doss working on Gonsalves. Great feed inside. And Rayshon Taylor with a finish. And it's a great job by SIUE as a team to stay with the play. After a big block from South Alabama, they stayed with it, controlled their offense, and got the shot. So the lead now nine back to single digits. As Chandler gives it to Anderson. But Salvas still yet to score. Anderson dishes it inside. Franklin with a flush. Yeah, great pass inside. Finding Javon Franklin. He throws it down with two hands. Now on the other end, 100% of the points coming from guys that weren't here last year. And it's crazy to think about. I mean, it just talks about the coaching staff and, and how good of a job they've done to recruit these players. One on three, they get it out to Gonsalves, to Smith for three, he's good. Deontay Smith on the board with a big three-pointer, just one for nine and is shooting the ball last game out against Tarleton. He's on the board one for one here tonight. Smith, the transfer from TCU, gives the Jags a 14-point lead, cross-court pass. Taylor, his three-pointer no good. Smith almost over the back. And now what a follow by Lamar Wright. One on three, Wright able to force it in. He's got four. Yeah, Wright going up, uh, up amongst the trees to grab that rebound and putting in the second chance points. Chandler on the break, gets it to go, and he's fouled. Full head of steam right at the rim. J.J. Chandler drawing the contact and the foul. He'll go to the line for the end one attempt. Lots of contact at the rim, as you see there. But I'll tell you what, this is a South Alabama team used to shooting outside the arc. What happens when they don't? 
Jags are shooting 76% from the field. They have 34 points in the paint. 34 of the 43 in the paint. That is not typical of South Alabama, but they figured that they had the size advantage on SIUE, and they have taken full advantage of it tonight. And it seems just seems like South Alabama is just the aggressor in this game. They're going to, uh, to SIUE's defense and not letting the defense come to them. Jags only one of three from three-point range. SIUE four of nine. They've been stymied by that Jags defense. Move along the baseline, Doss can't get it to go. Knocked out of bounds, last touched by Doss. And South Alabama will have the shot. Doss almost got his offensive rebound there, but dribbled it off his foot. South Alabama lucky to get the ball back there. So we've seen some full court pressure by the Cougars. They'll fall back now and get out of that. They in that man-to-man -man defense. Points off turnovers, 12-2, decided advantage for South Alabama. Once again, they'll go inside. Thomas back outside, Chandler. Shot clock at four. Chandler to Gonsalves, the three-pointer, no good. Rebound being volleyballed around. Wright able to get it and then able to stave off a nice charge by Anderson. Here comes Wright. He's fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. And that foul will go on Lance Thomas. That'll be his second. Team third. Yeah, good hustle back and forth from both teams. Fighting for that 50-50 ball, but SIUE come, comes down with it. And now Wright's going to the free throw line. Wright with a big smile on his face as he'll get his first shot to the free throw line. And SIUE just one of two as a team. Jets 5-10, his first one no good. So Shamar Wright. Six games in double figures. Shamar and Lamar. Four and 55, they're twin brothers. Son of NBA great Lorenzen Wright. Boy, he had a heck of a career at Memphis State. Then played with several NBA teams. Second of two is good. Shamar and Lamar Wright, also one of seven sets of twins playing on the same college basketball team. The Jags by 14 as we hit the two minute mark in the first half. Manning. Inside out to Chandler, his three-pointer no good. And a nice box out there by SIUE. They're gonna try to cut into this deficit. Carter, under duress, gets it to right. No good, knocked out of bounds. Last touch though by Javon Franklin. And SIUE will control under their own basket as Desmond Polk will step back in, giving Courtney Carter a rest. Polk only has nine. He's three for three from outside the arc. And Polka guy only averaging 2.6 a game. 10 points is a season high against Knox. One more field goal will eclipse that. He's got nine. Taylor's got nine. They'll go inside to Wright. Wright's got six. And it's 44-32. Yeah, Wright with a good move inside. Going up against Kyle Gonsalves. Kyle. Just too much defensive sag off there to make a play. A uh, whistle and a foul as Doss will get called for a little too much contact. That'll be his second. And that'll send South Alabama to the free throw line. They are in the double bonus. Referees have said one and one, but I believe that is 10 team fouls. South Alabama already with 10 free throw attempts here in the first half, going for their 11th and 12th attempt here. Check that, you saw on the replay, it was Lamar Wright who picked up the foul. It was his elbow that got Chandler. So he's got two. First one's good. So Jonathan Curtis stepping back into the ball game. As Lamar Wright with two will take a seat. J.J. Chandler out of Katy, Texas. 6'4", senior. A lot of seniors, a lot of transfers on this South Alabama team. Of two for Chandler, Royals in. And he's got 14, he's your team leader. The game high of 14. Manning with 13. Alex Anderson on the bench with eight for South Alabama. 46-32, nearing a minute to go here in the first half. Taylor, good dish, just couldn't, couldn't be handled by Wright. 
Uh, Taylor gets it back from outside the arc, and he's got it. He's in double digits with 12. Taylor now two for four from three-point range, and it's an 11-point ball game. Yeah, good shot there from Rayshon Taylor trying to bring SIUE back within single digits. Manning to Deontay Smith. His three is good. That's a big end. matchup for the Jaguars. For SIUE, doesn't get any easier. They got to play at Belmont. Belmont picked to win the OVC. Rattling it around and Doss, his three-pointer no good. Manning controls about a two-second differential. So can't wind it all the way down. But South Alabama, a team that averages a lot less than 49 points in the first half. Really put the ball in the paint tonight, and that's been the difference. As Chandler, one on two, outside the Gonzalez at the buzzer, no good. Smith, his putback, no good, and there's the horn. Second half, Doss will inbound to Sean Taylor. Taylor with 12 points. He leads all Cougars so far tonight. Gets it to right, back to Taylor, double teamed as goes off of Kyle Gonzalez. And they say Taylor touched it last. Taylor doesn't agree. But it's a turnover. That's number nine in that turnover category for SIUE and the Jags with a chance to eclipse the 50-point mark. South Alabama only averaging 74 points a game. They're on pace for 98. Also average 46% from, from the floor. And well, they're shooting 69% here tonight. There's that defense inside for SIUE. Doss outside, takes it back again. Doss, his first points of the ball game. And it's 49-37. Yeah, Doss over five from the floor in that first half. And that's a guy that averages 12 a game. So if he can get going, might be a boon for the Cougars. They've gone back to a bit of a zone defense. They're going to make South Alabama shoot it over them. Anderson, offensive rebound, gets it to go. And it's 51-37. Yeah, no one blocked out Alex Anderson underneath. He picks up an easy offensive rebound and second chance point. An offensive foul as Shamar Wright extended the elbow trying to get to the glass. Coach Baroni does not agree in the least, but it's an offensive foul, and you see that that arm extended on Alex Anderson. I think it's a good call. Yeah, I agree, and he actually immediately after Alex Anderson fell over went to Kyle Gonsalves and put his elbow onto him too, so definitely uh, kind of tattletailed on, on himself there. So that's team foul number one, first personal for Wright, as Alex, uh, Alex Anderson steps out of bounds on the baseline. And there's a turnover, number six for South Alabama. The SIUE will get it back. Sloppy first half from both teams coming out of the halftime locker room. Both teams have a bucket. So that 14-point lead still intact as Lamar right outside, no good. The rebound tracked down by Dewan Pruitt. And they'll get another shot. Now Shamar right working on Gonsalves. Nice job, nice body work there to get the opening against Gonsalves. And now Wright has three. Yeah, Wright had to shield off Gonsalves with his body to create some separation. Good move. Well, I think a very good move by Coach Baroni to get to his zone defense now against South Alabama. First time we've really seen that. And when you got a team that continuously is pounding you in the paint, you got to get out of that man-to-man, -man, make them shoot over you. Yeah, absolutely, Pat. I mean, you look at South Alabama, two for eight from behind the three-point line. SIUE definitely going to want to let South Alabama, South Alabama shoot it from deep more. So after the personal foul, Jags will have it. 15 to shoot. Anderson to Gonzalez. Under 18 to go in the ball game. Chandler cut off to Gonzalez with three on the clock inside the two point, uh, the three point arc. No good, rebound by Pruitt. And a chance to cut it to 10, maybe nine. Taylor cut off. As he tried to get to the basket. Now shakes Franklin. Three-pointer. No good. Gonsalves and Pruitt. Pruitt wins the battle. Another chance for SIUE. And now a foul contact. That's going to go on J.J. Chandler as he gets the push. Yeah, J.J. Chandler going to pick up his first personal foul in the ballgame. First team foul for South Alabama in this second half. Javon Franklin, excuse me, Deontay Smith is the guy that will check in. 
as Alex Anderson will take a seat. Anderson has 10. He was a big part of the big early lead for South Alabama early on. Doss scored not too long ago. Works on Manning, and he'll get the foul, and he'll get to go to the free throw line. Yeah, Manning, too much contact there underneath. He's going to get charged for the foul. It's going to be his first personal foul, team second. And Doss going to go to the free throw line for his first two, two attempts here of the game. To Doss, transfer from Arkansas Pine Bluff, where he had 43 games in double digits. And he's averaging 12 at SIUE. Shot no good. Doss, a 65% free throw shooter. He'll get another. Doss just 15 points away from eclipsing the 1,000 point mark in SIUE history. And one point are there. So the lead is 11, 51-40. A decidedly slower pace here in this second half. SIUE will turn on the defense a little bit, trying to make South Alabama work a little more than they had to in the first half. It seems to be working so far. South Alabama's offense has been struggling. Smith no good, rebound Gonsalves, and they'll get a second chance at it. Gonsalves for three, got it! And that'll get Kyle Gonsalves on the board, originally 0 for 4 before that shot. Big time three-pointer for him there. Shake by Taylor, gives it to Lamar Wright. Lamar on the baseline, he's cut off. Gets to his brother, Shamar. Shamar working on Demont Deontay Smith. And boy, what a take by Shamar Wright. He's got five. Yeah, blanketed by Deontay Smith, Shamar Wright. What a good take. Gonzalez looking for back-to-back -back threes. Not going to go. And now Doss. Fade away. Got it. Doss. He's got five. Our schedule. It's been a pretty tough schedule for SIUE here as of late. I mean, you figure you play teams like Marquette, Chicago State, and St. Thomas of Minnesota. So uh, uh, some very tough basketball being played by SIUE. So we're at the 16-minute mark. Jags have led by as many as 15. Manning to Franklin inside. One on two. Doesn't matter. He's got it. A good take there from Javon Franklin to find South Alabama another two points. Now a whistle and a foul. IUE starting conference play with Belmont preseason, OVC preseason uh, team to beat. So SIUE with their hands full once conference play starts in just a few weeks. So they're outscoring the Jags here in this second half, nine to seven. Franklin trying to equalize it there. He'll go to the free throw line as right at a block. But they'll call the foul instead as Lamar Wright will get three on him. Team four. Javon Franklin going to the free throw line. Originally 0 for 2 here in the ball game from the charity stripe. Franklin with six on the night. Has not attempted a three. Misses again from the charity stripe. So the Jags now 7 of 13 from the free throw line as Courtney Carter will step back in. Carter coming off a 15-point night against William Woods. As you see, Javon Franklin, the Auburn transfer, senior out of Little Rock, Arkansas. For free throw of the night, and he does. That lengthens the lead to 13, 57-44. As we're about one quarter of the way here through the second half. Give it and go, Doss got it. Sean Doss, who had a goose egg in the first half, now has seven, and it's 57-46. Deontay Smith went for the steal, ends up leaving his man wide open, almost with a dunk, but some good help defense, forcing a tough shot, SIUE still with two points. Franklin trying to get position underneath. Nobody stopped Chandler, but he couldn't get the bunny. And the rebound for SIUE, Doss. Somehow keeps control, has baseline, nice dish inside. Bucket in the foul by Dewan Pruitt. Man, that'll give SIUE some life as their bench gets up and gives them a little flex as a big and one attempt for Dewan Pruitt coming up. Third team foul for South Alabama, second personal on Kyle Gonzalez. 
as Deontay Smith will take a seat. I'm sure that it was truly Gonzalez was the one that caused the foul. There was contact, but I don't know if it should have gone on Cayo, but Pruitt able to make the three-point play. We got a ball game, Joe. This was a 15-point game at one point, and Brian Baroni and his guys are here to play. It's an eight-point game. Well, SIUE doing what South Alabama did in the first half from the floor, six of eight shooting the ball from the, in the second half. Chandler to Gonzalez, three-pointer no good to make sure everything is called correctly. And the officials doing a good job there. So we get back in play. Jags on top by eight, banning the alley-oop to Franklin. Yeah, great play there drawn up out of the timeout from Coach Richie Riley. Set that play up beautifully for Javon Franklin at the rim. They've been unable to penetrate inside a lot in this second half, but they found an opening there and they're able to get the easy bucket and the leads back to 10. Doss. Trying to get it inside to Jonathan Curtis. Dawes had picked up his dribble and really had nowhere to go. And it was a good defensive pressure from South Alabama, forcing a double team and then putting pressure on SIUE to make a play with the basketball. And Dawes running out of time, just had to get rid of it. So the turnover, that's number 12 as a team for SIU. We're down under 14 minutes to go. Jags lead is 10. Manning penetrates outside to Chandler. Chandler step back, long two, no good. Curtis with the rebound, he gets it to Taylor. Chandler with a ni nice look there, just left it a little bit short. Taylor absorbs the contact from Gonzalez, goes right at him, can't get the finish though. Franklin with the rebound, here comes Chandler. One on one, Chandler got it. A lot of contact at the rim, but JJ Chandler brushes it off, says I'll take the two points anyway. So Chandler, with 16 points, he leads all scores. Jags lead back up to 12. Now Curtis, left alone, will we'll drive 13 minutes even to go here in Mobile, Alabama, the Mitchell Center. And now, is that an offensive fat? And Brian Baroni in the official's ear trying to make sure everything is as it should be, and now we finally get back to play. 61-49, Jags on top by 12. They led by as many as 15. SIUE had cut it to eight not too long ago. Now Manning has a block by Curtis Franklin, though, able to get it to go, and it's 63-49. That's a great job by Franklin on the offensive board. Yes, more second chance points for South Alabama. They're ninth second chance points in the game. Now Anderson will get the hack call. That's his first personal. Six teams. So the next one will be a shooting foul. Both teams with six personal fouls. He will be shooting from here on out. Now Manning with a steal to Chandler. Back to Manning. Can't finish. It'll go to the free throw line. And I think they're going to get Dewan Pruitt, who he doesn't agree with the call, but Manning. We'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, and South Alabama with all smiles on the court right now because they knew that was about to be a big play, but a good job by SIUE to try and disrupt that alley-oop attempt. And again, I think that was anticipated contact. I don't know if there was any contact there on Manning. Yeah, I agree. There were, there's been a lot more contact here tonight that was called compared to that one. Well, Richie Riley will take it and the lead back to 15. South Alabama looking to get their biggest lead of the night. Second of two is good. So 65-49. The Jaguars, though, really outscoring SIUE by two here in the second half. But it doesn't feel like it, though, does it? Feels no, like I'm, SIUE has dominated the second half. Absolutely. I mean, they took an 8-0 South Alabama run over the last 145 to give them that two-point lead here in the second half. So definitely been all SIUE besides the last mi minute and a half. Doss blanketed, takes it anyway, rejected by Franklin. Here come the Jags. Manning to Franklin, to Chandler. No good, but a follow by Manning. And how about play from Alabama? Running in transition, not giving up on the play, putting up the second ball game at 18. Just under 12 minutes to go here in Mobile. Jags on a 10-0 run over the last two, two and a half minutes coming out of the timeout. Taylor. Trying to get it inside to Curtis. Curtis able to wrangle the loose basketball on Gonsalves. Nice ball control, trying to keep it, but he can't as the defensive pressure too much. And there's a turnover, number 15 on SIUE tonight. And 
Brian Baroni again upset, and I think understandably so. He thought that Curtis had been hacked underneath. Officials say no, and we'll play on. Trying to get it inside the Manning. Nice defensive play there by Curtis to knock it loose. And the loose ball picked up by Pruitt. He goes inside to Curtis, working on Franklin. Double team, doesn't matter. And Curtis gets it to go. Just the eighth South Alabama turnover leads to two easy points for SIUE on the other end. First field goal of the night for Curtis. He also had a free throw, so he's got three tonight. 67-51. Banning to Chandler. Still working on pretty good SIUE defense. Seeing that zone look a lot here in the second half. Gonsalves, bounce pass inside. Franklin is not going to be able to get the shot off before the clock hits zero. Second time tonight we've seen SIUE's defense create a shot clock violation as Marshall Keering will sprint into the ball game and give Javon Franklin a rest. Yeah, Javon Franklin giving South Alabama good minutes here tonight. 11 points, 5 of 6 from the floor, and 7 rebounds. So Keering and Anderson with a brief double team. Now it'll be Gonsalves trying to get to him. And nothing doing by Courtney Carter as he's able to escape that double team pretty quickly. Now a whistle away from the basketball. And it's going to go on Keering. That'll be his, his uh, first personal. And that should send, yeah, it will send SIUE to the free throw line. And Curtis, Jonathan Curtis is one for two tonight. He is now on the season two for four. His free throw good, he'll get another. So as a team, now SIUE five of eight from the free throw line. Jags have been there twice as many times. They're 16 attempts and made 10. Second is no good. And so it'll stay a 15-point lead. Jags have lived by as many as 18. A couple of subs, or one sub, I should say. Lance Thomas getting set to check in for South Alabama at the next whistle. J.J. Chandler drains the three. Chandler with 19. In the two and threes, in the two three zone, just left Chandler wide open there on the elbow as he knocks down the easy three. So SIUE gives up 64 points a game. They've already given up 70 with half a half to go. Nice ball movement to Taylor. Can't finish on the three. Gonzalez with the rebound, and the Jags in transition. Three on three. Kearing will take it himself. Can't get it. Rebound being popped around and right. Uh, excuse me, Pruitt, I should say, the one able to get to it. Now Pruitt outside the arc. He will get a foul call on Kyle Gonsalves. I think Kyle's third personal foul, not moving his feet there on the defensive end. And SIUE with more free throws coming in. This is how they're going to get back into this game. If they want to keep chipping away at this South Alabama lead, they're going to want to keep getting themselves to the free throw line and just chip away at that lead. As a team, they shoot 66% from the free throw line. Pruitt, a little bit better. He's a 71% free throw shooter. A Sacramento, California native. Went to Butler Community College before coming to SIUE. He gets the first and is able to earn the second. Just a freshman. He's a redshirt freshman. He's an 82% free throw shooter in junior college. Now is up his average just a bit. As he puts two in. SIUE with three freshmen on the court right now, and all three of them playing big roles for this offense. Anderson outside the arc to Manning. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound Tamp uh, Thomas. Thomas is hacked as he goes up for the offensive rebound and the putback, and he'll go to the free throw line. The big man, LT, inside the paint, grabbing a big rebound and trying to go up with a second chance points, but gets hacked on the way up. So he'll find himself at the free throw line for the first time here tonight. He's got four points total. Three players on the floor for SIU with three fouls. First free throw, no good. 
Lance Thomas, first free throw, not only tonight, but of the season. season. Yeah, how about that? His season started late, getting his first time played in the Las Vegas tournament against San Diego. Second of two is good, so he'll be a 50% free throw shooter next time we do the stats. And it's 71-54. As we ride to the nine minute mark in Mobile, South Alabama with a sizable lead over SIUE. Carter spots up outside the three, doesn't take it. Inside out, trying to get it to Wright. Wright gets it back, shot clock still at 10, so plenty of time. Shamar Wright, he'll take the three, and it's good. Lamar Wright getting the assist to his brother Shamar Wright, who knocks down a big three for SIUE. That's eight for Shamar, and the lead is 14. SIUE staying in that zone defense. South Alabama had 49 points at halftime. They're continuing their assault on the basketball. Offensive rebound, Anderson blocked underneath. And now a little street ball here. Here comes South Alabama. Numbers, Franklin, yes. And Jaguars with the numbers there. Three on one fast break. Javon Franklin flushes it down with two hands. His second dunk. And now four players in double figures. To a thousand career points in for South Alabama. He's got three here tonight, so 20 points away for him. A lane violation. I believe they're going to get Manning for stepping into the lane too early. Lost his balance, and now he pounds his chest. So, yeah, that's on me. My bad. Yeah, he looks back at Coach Richie Riley and said, hey, Coach, that's on me. I know. So the free throw was no good, but the violation gives him another shot. And Doss doesn't hit that one either. Thomas thought he got away with a walk there, but gets the defensive rebound, and South Alabama will attack the basket with a 15-point lead and under eight to go. See the points in the paint there. South Alabama outscoring SIUE by 18 in the paint. There's a turnover, and now Taylor on the breakaway. Trying the alley-oop to Doss, and ill-advised. He lost control of the basketball. Here comes Manning to Anderson. Chandler with it outside the arc. And the Jags will reset 15 on the shot clock. Yeah, it was some sloppy basketball there <laughs> being played for about 15 seconds. Coach Richie Riley said, slow things down. Manning will go to the free throw line once again. He's five of seven from the free throw line. Draws another foul. As Lamar Wright will get called for the personal. That's his fourth. He's the first guy in this ball game with four. But at this point, I don't know if you're Brian Baroni, if you have the luxury to take him out. I don't think you do, Pat. I think with just seven minutes to go here in the ball game, you want the best five on the floor to give you, give you a chance to win the ball game. Well, J.J. Chandler has 19 points. Manning, if he can make this free throw, will tie him with 19 points. Anderson with 12, Franklin with 11. And he does, he ties it up. 19 apiece, Deontay Smith will step back in, give Manning a seat. And Rayshon Taylor, the only player in double figures for SIUE, he's got 12, although a couple guys knocking on the door. Shamar Wright has eight, Doss with eight. Pruitt and Polk both on the bench, they have nine. Now Carter gets the prayer answered by Doss. Doss working on Smith, finds an opening, drives to the hoop and loses control of the basketball. He's on the baseline. There's another turnover. Nice defensive play there by Deontay Smith. And South Alabama will control. It's the 18th turnover here in the ball game for the Cougars. Coming into this one, they average 15 turnovers a game. So now a full court pressure is going to have to get out of that zone and try to make something happen. Chandler gets it as they get across the timeline. Going inside on the baseline. Javon Franklin, turn around, no good. And the offensive put back, no good. Chance number three, good in the foul. Yeah, South Alabama never gave up on that play. Continuing to work the offensive glass. And finally, Javon Franklin with the and one opportunity. So Franklin now with 13. 
They're going to get a fourth personal now on Shamar Wright. Uh, so Shamar Wright with four, Lamar Wright with four. As Richie Riley's got to feel pretty good. His team stands with six and a half to go. Franklin completes the three-point play. He's got 14. Jag shooting 56%. SIUE shooting 50% from the from the field. You gotta, you gotta like that, but it's been some opportunistic offensive performances by South Alabama that gives them the sizable lead here up by 20. Right outside the arc, no good. His brother with the rebound. He can't get it to go, but a whistle and a foul. And Lamar Wright will go to the free throw line. That foul is going to be on Alex Anderson. Actually, it's going to go on Franklin, Javon Franklin. So that's going to be his third personal foul. So Franklin has three. So does Gonsalves. So does Thomas. As both teams now in the double bonus. So everything two shots from here on out. Free throw is good. Now nine of 14 is SIUE from the free throw line as a team. Baroni on one side, Riley on the other. Lamar Wright has seven, trying to get to eight. He's got a replacement at the scorer's table if it goes. And it doesn't. And Franklin will pull down the rebound, and Dewan Pruitt will have to wait a second before he gets in. And South Alabama just going to be content with walking the ball up the court and running as much of the shot clock as they can on these next few possessions. The lead is 19. Anderson driving against the zone. He's already removed from the situation. So and when he made that step toward the situation, that's when he received a technical. So the lead is 20. Rejected is Rayshon Taylor, South Alabama on the move. Big Anderson. Block underneath from Lance Thomas. Yeah. To Jay Chandler. Just north of five minutes. Chandler, too short. And here comes Doss, one on two. It doesn't matter, he's going to take it himself. And now at the last second, gets it out to a quarter to Shamar Wright. The Wright will give it to Taylor, who will set it up. Inside to Pruitt. Intercepted by J.J. Chandler. And Chandler didn't have the numbers. We'll pull it back out. They'll get it to Manning in the corner and back to Chandler. He'll drive on Wright. Wright got a piece of it. Knocked out of bounds, last touched by Wright. And South Alabama will control 16 on the shot clock. 4.45 to go. The Jags with a comfortable 20-point lead that matches their biggest of the ball game. Yeah, South Alabama's offense forcing 18, or defense forcing 18 turnovers. It's really made the life a lot easier on the offensive end for them. Manning. 17 feet, no good, but Deontay Smith, the offensive rebound, no good. Anderson will give South Alabama a third shot at it. Chandler will make a pass. How about that, Pat? Two guys for South Alabama there on the defensive end, four for SIUE, and South Alabama still able to get the rebound and the second chance points. Deontay Smith will get the foul call outside the arc. And for Deontay Smith, it will be his first personal, but it'll send SIUE to the free throw line. But give him one chance, that's not good. Give him a second chance, really not good. But three times, South Alabama able to attack the, the rim. And Chandler able to drain it from outside the arc. Now, Shamar Wright at the free throw line is good on his first. He'll have one more. So right two of three from the free throw line is Jonathan Curtis will check back in. And they'll give Sean Taylor a break. Taylor has been stuck at 12 for a while. He had the team's first seven points in the ball game. And Wright will add one more to it. So he's in double digits with 10. Wright on the floor with four fouls. Little one-two-two two press coming out, forcing some pressure and a turnover in the backcourt for South Alabama. Now just a mental mistake there by J.J. Chandler. As he saw the pressure and was trying to figure out what to do, and in the meantime, just traveled with it. So the 11th turnover of the ball game for South Alabama. Carter will get it to Doss, trying to get it inside to Pruitt, off his hands, 
And there's turnover number 19 for SIUE. Yeah, turnovers has been just eating at this SIUE offense all night long. 19 turnovers in the ball game, and South Alabama able to turn those those turnovers into 24 points. Jags get it across the timeline with one second to spare. Under four to go. Jags on top by 21. They've led by as many as 23. Now they're going to take some air out of the clock. As Manning lost control of his dribble, gets it back. Fade away jumper as time expires. Final stretches here in Mobile, South Alabama comfortably ahead, 82-61. Now nice job inside by SIUE to make it 82-63. Points in the paint, look at that, 50 points by the Jags. Now a turnover, SIUE trying to get something done. And, well, it was a good idea, but Pruitt was not in the right position. Couldn't field it until he got behind the backboard. Here comes that 1-2-2 two, two pressure from SIUE out of the timeout. Manning breaks the pressure, takes it to the hole, can't get it to go, Pruitt with a rebound. And now Courtney Carter has it rejected, does Pruitt. And South Alabama in transition, Chandler loses control and had a pretty good go of it. Yeah, absolutely, Pat, 31 for 60 from the floor, 52% shooting the basketball. I mean, that's probably one of the highest numbers that we've seen all year from this team. The Riley says, hold it up there for a minute. As shot clock now at 10, and that's when South Alabama will start the attack. Two and a half to play. Chandler to Thomas, three-pointer way off the mark, air ball. And Thomas now 0 for 2 from outside the arc. Now 6 of 17 for the big man. And that's not the shot Coach Richie Riley drew up out of the timeout. He, he did not like that shot from Lance Thomas. Thomas defensively out high as Doss with a pump fake and a dribble drive. Inside SIUE blocked by Thomas. Thomas trying to get it again. He will get the foul though. Nice strong move by Dewan Pruitt as Pruitt had it blocked, had a second shot at it and he'll go to the free throw line. It looks like they're also gonna call a technical foul on Lance Thomas after the fact. Lance Thomas with a few words for Pruitt. So he's gonna get a technical foul and SIUE is gonna get even more free throws here. It was a good defensive play. And then Thomas has some words exchanged between the two number ones, Pruitt and Thomas. And Richie Riley not pleased with what was called. And Jamal West will come into the ball game as Thomas will take a seat and get a talking to by Richie Riley saying, look, hey, it's 82-65, ball game's out of, out of control. You can't let your tipper get the best of you at that point. Yeah, especially with a situation like this. I mean, you're just giving a team free throws, that you know, your chance to go to the free throw line. So you got to control your emotions in, in a game like this. So Jamal West in, Pruitt will get a chance for the three-point play. No good, good Salvis able to come away with it. And so what they did is they gave a team technical, it wasn't a personal technical on either on either player, it was a team technical, so a technical on each bench. Not sure the explanation of that, but that's what they call. So a minute and a half to go, 82-65. Jackson Cougars playing out the string as Chandler just loses the basketball. And you don't want to lose a basketball like that in front of your head coach. No, I mean, Coach Richie Riley kind of tucks the basketball underneath his arm and has a word for a minute there with, with his point guard. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the worst spot to, to turn the ball over. So a minute and a half to go. South Alabama with the win tonight. We'll get their 10th win. First time, as you said, in school history, they've gotten 10 wins prior to the Christmas break. A whistle and a foul underneath. They're going to get Kyle Gonsalves with a bump. And with the way the tempers have flared 
you're going to get any kind of touch call, especially in this last minute and a half, make sure nothing gets out of control. And now you're going to hear the crowd go crazy after throw. We'll show you why as Lamar Wright able to go. There's Adam Sizemore. He's a crowd favorite. In four games, he's played 13 minutes, one of six outside the arc, all from three-point range. And you talk about the pressure of a young man because the entire crowd wants him to shoot a three. He's not a, he's not a selfish player. He doesn't mind passing the basketball. Not at all. I mean, he, he, he would rather not shoot the basketball, I feel like. West with it to Tyler Shirley, seeing his first action today. That one knocked out of bounds, last touched by Shirley. And ball controlled by SIUE with 108 to go. But you got to love it for Coach Richie Riley, right before conference play starts, getting a chance to get deep into his bench, let some guys get some minutes, because you never know. I mean, some injuries might happen or some things might happen down the line where you might need some of these guys to step up and make a play. And if they have some in-game experience, now is the time to get it for them. Ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Courtney Carter, and South Alabama will have the basketball. And once again, Adam Sizemore, the focus as the band starts to say, warm up the bus to SIUE. Been a good basketball game for South Alabama. They asserted the dominance early in the paint specifically. Worked hard on that man-to-man -man defense and really made a statement here tonight against SIUE. Smith will drive. Left hand is good. It's 84-67. Yeah, good strong take there from Deontay Smith to give him eight points in the ball game. So the shot clock and the game clock about a second, maybe half a second off. SIUE will have to shoot it. So they'll go back to Edwardsville with a six and seven record. Lamar Wright with a putback. 10 seconds, shot clock is off. Fans want a shot by Sizemore, not gonna happen. And that'll do it. South Alabama asserted the dominance early and they win it 84-67.